Hey YouTube, Longboys Post 1975. This is a video response to Ed T1138's latest top three Tuesday. Ed is in my channel list down below. I definitely recommend you go and check him out. He's a solid gold geezer. And this week's question is asked by Gay Man Dan. He says, what are the best three looking consoles in your collection? Now, um, dishonorable mention, first of all. Dishonorable mention. My dishonorable mention has to go for this. The Xbox 360. I mean, oh, this is really heavy. Um, yeah, seriously, Microsoft. I mean, I know it's old, but what were you thinking? I mean, I've taken pisses in the snow that look better than this. But yeah, as much as I love the Xbox, that that ugly. So, right, number three. I think this has got, I've said it before and I'll say it again, I think this has got Future Retro written all over it. It's filthy, man. I really need to start cleaning my consoles. The Wii. I think Nintendo absolutely nailed it, design-wise, from, you know for the Wii. I, I think it's a style guru. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that it's just kind of minimalistic, you know. It, it, I think that's brilliant. It, it doesn't, you know, boast or try and be something it's not. It just says what it is. I'm the Wii. I'm compact. I'm small. I do what I say I do on the tin. I think it's brilliant. I really, really do like the design. The fact that you can do it like that or like that, which I guess to a degree you can do with the Xbox. Actually, no, you're supposed to put them flat, aren't you? Otherwise they toast or red ring. Which is another great thing about this, drifting away from the question, the fact that it's so bulletproof. So number three for me has definitely got to be the Wii. I, th I think this is just an absolutely fantastic design. I mean, the white of it as well, you know. All right, the Dreamcast was white, but you know what? I don't know, it's, it's almost like kind of Apple-esque, if that makes sense. So yeah, number three for me, it's got to be the Wii. All right, I know it's a new console, but I think it's absolutely new. Oh, it's not new anymore, is it? I think it's absolutely fantastic. Number two... Um, I know tons of people are going to put this in. Number two for me, it's got to be my Jack Mega Drive. And I'm call me snobbish, call me elitist. Uh, I'm going to say I think the Japanese Mega Drive is the best looking of the bunch. I think it's better than a Power Mega Drive. I think it's better than looking than the Genesis. You've got the big, fat, proper 16-bit sign. You know, you've got the blue switch. What was this? This was white, wasn't it, on the Power One? I just think that's an absolutely fantastic looking console. I mean, the lines are just great. It's just, they just nailed it, you know? It, it's... Well, I'm, I'm obviously on bars. It's just one of the best looking consoles ever. And, uh, you know, other people have mentioned this, but the whole kind of spherical thing there, like, you know, it looks like a CD system when it's not a CD system, which is weird because obviously there weren't any CD systems at the time. So that's kind of a reflection now, the, more so than it was then. Um, yeah, I, I just think that's an absolutely fantastic looking console. I even love the fact that it's got a headphone switch, you know, like volume, volume external volume on the console. It's kind of like uh, Ed mentions in his uh, response. You know, this, I think old school equipment, I, I like the whole kind of sort of audio, you know, hi-fi-esque look of stuff from this time period. Looks like you can scratch on it. But number one for me, and this kind of comes back to the Wii's for, for sort of, uh, you know, kind of uh, minimalistic approach. I think my favorite looking console in my collection, probably my favorite looking console of all time, PC Engine. I just, I just look at it. You know, it, it's like, why are you so big, everyone else? What's the point? You know, there's no need for you to be that big. As much as I like the uh, the Mega Drive, if you ever crack open a Mega Drive, there ain't nothing inside to justify being that big. But yeah, I, I just think that that's absolutely stunning console. Again, white. You know, mm. it's the future, people. It's the future, white. Unless you own it in a car. Um, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's just something about it. It's just this. Five inches by five inches. I just think it's brilliant. I like the fact that it, it's just small, it's compact, it's very, very simple. Brilliant. Hands down, my favourite looking console in my collection and my favourite looking console of all time. I'm waffling now, I know. I just, I can't quite put my finger on it. I just, I don't know, it just screams eye candy to me. So, yeah, that's my response to Top 3 Tuesday. Um, go and check out... Dan's channel, I'll put uh, a link down below and go and check out Edge Town. He's in my list, as I said, and I'll put a link down below for him as well. And I'll see you later.